okay so welcome you all in this video so i'll show you how to perform experiments on virtual lab so first you need to visit to the uh, electrical and electronics engineering syllabus so after the syllabus of all six unit you will find the list of experiments that we have performed from the electronics engineering lab and electrical engineering lab so after that you will find assignments using virtual lab so this is an initiative of nmei city and MHRD in cooperation with IIT Wambis. So the list of experiments is given over here, speed control of DC shunt motor by armature and field resistance control and speed control of slip ring induction motor by rotor resistance control. So for performing this experiment, you need to click on the link given over here. Now what I do, I just copy the link and paste it into the Firefox browser. So it will open the uh, list of experiments from the uh, electrical machines lab. So here we have experiment number 3 speed control of DC motor by field resistance control and speed control of DC motor by armature resistance control. Another one experiment we have speed control of slipping induction motor. So any one experiment I will show you. Click on that experiment you will find the aim of the experiment given over here. You can read the theory which is given the complete theory is written over here then some pre-test questions you need to attend it then procedure is given how to connect the terminals over the simulation tab this is the simulation tab this is only the view of that tab so actual simulation you can go to click on simulation so here click here to go to the simulation page so after you click on that you can see the complete uh, simulation window so these are all the meters are given over here MCB, the starter, voltmeter, ammeter, the motor itself, the rotating part, the rotor, the field resistance, armature resistance and this is the observation table you will get. So you need to do all the connections as per the instructions given over here. So read all the instructions and click uh, all the connections as per the diagram. So like this positive to L and negative. Yes. Likewise, you, you need to do all the connections. After doing all the connections, you need to check it. Once the connections are correct, you can click on the MCB. The MCB will be triggered on all the circuits. Then you can take the readings for different readings of armature resistance and field resistance. So you can just click on create a graph. One graph will be plotted over here. Then after taking 5 to 6 readings, you can print that page so one pdf will be generated right and that pdf you have to attach into the triple e manual likewise you have to perform the second experiment speed control of dc motor using uh, field re resistance control and then speed control of sleeping induction motor so these experiments you have to perform in the virtual lab so when you go to the simulation Go to the simulation page the uh, window will get open so you have to do all the connections one thing keep in mind that you have to make all connections as per procedure given over here over the procedure tab it the procedure is clearly mentioned that what terminals you have to connect to which motors output terminal or voltmeter or ammeter so connect that properly then and then the simulation will run otherwise it will show wrong connections when you click on check then it will show wrong connections if you are not connected as per they have given the connection diagram so keep in mind that the procedure you have to read do all the connections take readings plot graph then report will be generated that report i'll show you one format of report also in the uh, google classroom then you you can attach that print you just uh, no need to taking that print because you have to submit manual in virtually manual in pdf format so you can just insert that page into experiment number 9 in the complete manual make a pdf of that and submit to the triple e submission okay thank you